Hi, it's Steve here, just to um, uh, give you some idea of what I've been doing with some of the spreadsheets and calculating how uh, Ethereum uh, mining might work over the two-year contracts. Um, I drew up a, well, I drew up a spreadsheet and I'd just like to explain a little bit about what uh, is behind it. Um, to start off with, I've gone to a website called Crypto Compare, which uh, I'll refer to in a minute, but uh, just a quick idea, this is the spreadsheet I've been working on. And the idea was that I just basically had an idea about, you know, how would I compound my earnings? How will I make sure that I get greater mining capacities I go through? Um, and so I just simply drew up a spreadsheet to, um, to answer those questions. Now, the problem is, is it's not going to be completely accurate. So it's only a guide. Uh, but basically, um, the reason why it's not accurate is because I don't know what the the uh, the mining factors are going to be going forward uh, uh, next week, next uh, month, or next year even, you know, but uh, I don't think anybody does. But basically, um, I don't know that. So they're kind of fixed at today's rates. And same with the exchange rate as well. We've seen the Ethereum values going up and down. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, it's $400, and then it dropped down to $250. Um, now it's back up to around about $300. The idea is this, it's just really to give an idea about how to manage an account, how to make it grow, and how to, to actually aim for a few targets. Um, it might overshoot, it might undershoot, I don't know, but at least it'll give you some idea how, how kind of it will work, you know, that's the idea anyway. So, um, there's a couple of things we need to change or fill in first. Uh, one is in this pink bar. Uh, which basically says that if we buy one Ethereum, it'll earn X amount of Ethereum per month. So we need to fill this figure in here. This blue bar, we've got uh, the exchange rate. And that's the current exchange rate. Um, and then uh, that this one is an automatic calculation. It gives you the number of uh, Ethereum per mega hash mined, which will be this figure up here. Um, here we've got the mega hash cost. That's per mega hash, so $29.99. These columns here we draw in US dollars. Well, I've put down 66% there um, for when I do decide to withdraw. Uh, in other words, I want to take out on the returns here uh, when they do start showing up. Um, I want to withdraw when I do want to withdraw 66% uh, of that money. Um, and then the rest will go into compounding. And I'll explain exactly how these columns work in a minute. Um, because I live in the UK, I want to know what the figure is in pounds, and this is the exchange rate I've been using. Um, that changes, I haven't really changed that for a long time. But that gives me some idea how much in, in sterling the, um, the mining would cost. Um, here I've got a column, and I was playing around with that just to figure out how much Ethereum I could mine, because ideally you just basically want to mine and build up the amount of cryptocurrency that you have. Uh, and the more you have, the more you want to save and keep in your wallet just to make sure that, um, you know, you're going to benefit from um, uh, from that uh, sector as well. So if we go back to getting our figures now, um, I've gone to Crypto Compare, I've gone to their mining wallet and uh, gone to the, um, the Ethereum uh, statistics. Um, here I've put down hashing power one mega hash. Uh, put down the power consumption is zero and the cost per kilowatt per hour is zero. Um, here we'll find the exchange rate. Um, and here we got the profit per day in dollars. And here we have the mine per day, mine per week, uh, month and year. Okay, the two figures we're going to get is here for the exchange rate and here for the mine per month. And I'll show you where those will go. Um, the exchange rate, if we uh, simply copy that for now, and bearing in mind this is for one uh, mega hash of hashing power, which will make our spreadsheet work. So we go up to the exchange rate, and I'll get rid of that, and instead I shall put in the rate that we picked up on the website. So there you go, 297.59. Okay, so if we go up into this box here, back to our website, mind per month, we go to that figure, highlight that, copy, that's control and C, um, or you can do it a long window way around, I suppose. Um, go back to here and just control and V and drop that into the box there. So now we've got the amount of mega hash that we'll be mining 
per month uh, for whatever mega hash that we've got. Uh, and basically, however much we accumulate in the total mega hash box gets multiplied by that figure. Now, as you can see, mega hash earned, if you like, goes down, if you like, day by day, certainly week by week. Um, so that's one of the problems here. Now, without getting too complicated and so on, um, you know, it's, it's, it's impossible to actually establish what that figure is going to be in, in, in a few months' time. So, as I say, this is just a guide just to give you an idea about how to move forward. So, essentially, we've got things set up. And I'll just go through the various columns now just to um, explain what's what. So, this first column is the month. So, we're in month one. And in month, uh, not month one, we bought one mega hash of mining power. And this is Ethereum mining power. So that cost is twenty nine ninety nine. Um, we didn't buy any mega hash from profits because we haven't made any yet. There was obviously no cost there, so we've actually got one mega hash in our wallet. Well, in our sort of mining capacity, should I say? Um, in a month, that will return four dollars fifty one which is roughly, um, well, it works out as 0.01515 mega hash. The running total in, in dollar terms is in this column, and that just basically tops up all the amount of money that uh, we've, uh, we've mined, or the equivalent amount of money that we've mined. And obviously, as the exchange rate changes, that would have changed as well. So uh, it's more of a guide than anything, really, to be honest with you. Now, we want to compound it. Now, basically, what that means is all the profits we want to make, um, or some of the profits we want to make, depending on whether we withdraw any money or not, we want to go back into buying more mining cap uh, capacity to increase our profits further going forward. Um, here we've got withdraw. Do we want to withdraw anything? Well, no, we don't. But if we did, the amount of money we'll be withdrawing would be up here 66%. You can change that. You could change that to 33% or 25%. It's entirely up to you. But... I've set it at 66% on the basis that I want to take a third out and keep as uh, Ethereum. I want to reinvest a third in more mining, but also I want to spend a third as well. So that's just basically my um, my idea. But, you know, whatever it is you want to do, you can change that accordingly. But at the moment, we're going to compound it completely. We're not going to withdraw anything. Um, so the amount of money going forward to buy new mega hash is going to be 451 because we're going to compound everything. And bearing in mind the cost is 29.99, we can't afford new mega hash GST yet. So as the days, sorry, as the months go by, um, basically it'll just build up. We'll earn another, you know, 451 the month after. Uh, we can see the monthly earnings: 451, 451, 451, and so on. And then we get to um, this point here. Um, we've got 31.56 worth of profit in our sort of, uh, well, that'll be in our crypto wallet. Um, that's enough to buy some more mega hash. So basically what we can then do is spend another $29.99 by another mega hash. So we've now got two in the Ethereum mega hash mining wallet. So that'll give us um, a day, uh, sorry, a monthly earning of $9.02. Uh, Getting the currencies modelled up there, um, which is earning 0 0.0303 .03 a month. So again, we go back, um, pick up what we left off. You know the the amount of money um, because we subtracted that 29.99 from that 31.56, added that nine pounds and two. We've come up with 10.59 in a sort of available wallet, if you like, and that just builds up, and then. After a couple of months or a few months, it gets up to 37.64. So that basically means we can buy some more mining power. So we're now up to three mega hash of Ethereum mining power, which is earning us 13.53 per month. And then after a couple of months, we can actually go and then buy another one, then another one, and it just sort of builds up. And then we get to a point where we're buying two uh, mega hash, and then a bit further down, three mega hash, and so on and so forth. So as it's compounding, it means that our you know sort of mining mining capacity is getting bigger and bigger, which means that we're basically earning more money because when we get down to about here, you know we're earning about hundred dollars a month. Okay, hundred dollars a month doesn't sound much, but bearing in mind 
we've only started from 29.99. Now I did get asked, you know, what happens if somebody had um, about $90 that they want to invest, and they wanted to invest that every single month. Well, $90 um, is roughly three mega hash. Um, it's just a little bit over. So it will buy three mega hash of um, Ethereum mining power. Uh, so if we did that for, say we did it for a year, so 12 months, copy that down. So we've built three, um, three mega hash uh, from our own pocket uh, each month for a year. Uh, we've compounded it going forward, all of it, all the, all the earnings, all the profits we've compounded on a monthly basis and basically kept on doing that. And as you can see, the amount of Ethereum mining power that we're getting working for us is beginning to go up and up and up very, very quickly. So here now, um, the earnings are about $383.22, which is quite nice, isn't it? Uh, if we continue that for another year, um, again, it will keep on going up and up and up, and we can carry on doing that, you know, on and on and on, really. So we keep on adding $90 in and then you know, sort of benefiting from uh, the increase in, in, in mining power that we're doing. Now, these contracts only last for two years. So when we get to uh, month 25, um, what we originally bought, the amount of mining power we bought up here, will have expired. So that gets deducted from that total amount. Basically, the whole thing adjusts itself. And what we got left is, in this case, we started off at three mega hash, kept on buying three a month, Plus we reinvested uh, our profits and we ended up with 625 mega hash, which is earning us something in the order of almost $3,000 a month. So as you can see, it builds up quite a nice figure. Now, if you wanted to withdraw some, so we got to month 25 and we said, OK, let's go and withdraw some. So if we type in Y in that box there, you can see, there we go. Uh, because we're withdrawing two thirds and reinvesting a third, a third goes into buying new mega, uh, mega hash, and then we can withdraw eighteen hundred dollars, which is about fourteen hundred pounds, or six point two Ethereum. So you could actually store the Ethereum as Ethereum and benefit from uh, the increasing exchange rate there. And if you wanted to carry on doing that, well, basically you've got yourself a nice. Um, nice monthly income coming in, which because we're reinvesting parts of it is going to keep on growing, uh, making you more money as you go through. Now very, very quickly, if you want to do extend this, all you have to do is just highlight the bottom line, scroll down and then just do control D and that will just basically automatically calculate for you uh, going forward. Um, and that's really about it. So um, beginning to run out of time now. So as I say, it's just a quick little video to explain exactly how it all works. So just going over the columns again very, very quickly. This is the month. This is the amount of uh, mega hash that we're buying from outside sources. Uh, this is the cost. This is the amount of mega hash we can buy from profits from a mining operation if we decide to reinvest. This is the cost of that. This is the total amount of mega hash we've got working for us. This is the amount that's um, being earned per month. Uh, and this is the amount in mega in in uh, Ethereum. Um, this is the running total. This is whether we want to compound or not. This is whether we want to withdraw or not. And the withdrawal factor is up here, which we can change according to what we want to do, how much we want to compound, and so on and so forth. Um, this is the amount of money we can spend compounding, and this is the amount of money that we can withdraw in these two columns here. Um, and that's really about it. So, um, hopefully that's given you some idea what I've been doing. All right, well, take care and thanks very much.